You've heard about them by now, drugs like Ozempic or Regovi, and there is record demand for them. About 70% of American adults are now considered overweight. These drugs can offer a solution, but they also have drawbacks. Backfinder 12 took a lot of your questions straight to the experts out there. We talked to people who are using them uh, to create a one-stop source for you to do your own research. Investigator Haley Tucker is here with those answers tonight. Haley? Rachel, Mike, so we talked with just about everyone you could think of regarding these medications. Take a look behind me here. We're talking about Ozempic, Monjaro, Wagovi. I spent weeks talking with doctors, nurse practitioners, and real people about their experience on these meds. And if you're on them or considering taking them, we wanted to break down the details that you need to know. In the past, you were told to go here or eat this just to shed a few pounds. And when that didn't work, you were just out of luck. But now, Ozempic, Mount Jaro, Lagovi, Ribelsis, and more are changing people's lives. Weight loss drugs are the new craze. Experts say nearly half of adults are interested in them, and they work for many overweight Americans. I was heavier all grown up. Um, seen doctor after doctor after doctor. Amanda Sinnott's always struggled with her weight. I was doing the diet. I was doing the exercise. I was doing everything right and nothing was happening. I was just continuously gaining. But then she got on Mount Jaro. I have lost 127 pounds um, from September 2022 until current to see a medication come out and it's actually helping. Um, you know, everybody lose weight. Uh, it's it's a miracle. But not everybody can start the medication. They're not for somebody that wants to lose 10 pounds. These are medications that are for chronic diseases like diabetes and obesity, so we don't want to just use them willy-nilly. Many use will see side effects. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, typically if they overeat, when the body says they're full, they're really full. This medication, we have had some patients who have lost between 30 and 50 pounds and as little as 30 uh, uh, three months, four months, um, but it does not come without side effects. Those side effects put Melissa Sherfick in the hospital. I got so sick that I couldn't walk. I could barely talk. I had to be taken to the ER. I had sepsis. She says she almost died after taking Ozempic for her diabetes. Now she wants to warn others. Any sickness that can't be explained, your doctor may not know and you may not know until you get to the point where I was. It changed Melissa's life in a negative way, but for others, it's something they don't regret. Amanda, is this something that has changed your life? It has been life changing. I I have a little one. Uh, I can I can do more with him. So to be able to you know have a better relationship with my son, um, you know as a smaller body, it, it makes it it makes it worth it. You can get prescribed at doctors' offices, clinics, med spas, and even just online. I get a lot of patients that come to us new and say, they're like, it didn't work for me. And I'm like, well, there's a lot that goes into this. It is important where you go. Make sure it's reputable and you're being checked on. Um, all these people who are just dabbling in it, they don't understand. There are true complications. These are people's lives. This is their health that you're dealing with. Um, if you're not taking things the way that they're meant to be taken and you're just doing whatever you want, that's a problem. It's not a magic medication. We don't want to just give you this medication and then you're on your way. We really want to see goals. This isn't a, something you can sustain for life. It's a tool, just like the tools you used in the past. Consider cost being one of them, so let's talk that. Yeah, that's one of the biggest issues people face. Um, a lot of insurances don't cover the mm -hmm. weight loss medications unless you have a comorbidity like diabetes. And so you will have to pay out of pocket. So take a look. We called pharmacies around town asking for just a straight cash price. You will be paying thousands just for a month's supply. Now, you are seeing some compounded medicines that are available now. They take that semaglutide, terzepatide, compound them with something like, say, a vitamin. It's a much easier and cheaper to afford. Only so much we can put in three minutes on this. So we've compiled and you did a lot of research. We heard from a lot of experts on this. Yeah, I mean, we talked with nine people. You saw them behind right. me here. We have all the information you need right now on our website, kwch.com. You did a full interview with a doctor with the KU School of Medicine in Kansas City. That full interview right now, kwch.com. Thanks, Haley.